given paramount importance to the elimination of poverty and gender inequalities, independent presidential aspirant Esa Mbaifal expresses the desire to empower and ensure that the needs of women are catered for. Mr. Fall was speaking on the special edition of iAfrica TV on Wednesday. Details of that in this report by Lena Igweniba. <laughs> Women in Africa are marginalized when it comes to participating in political arena. Usually, women serve as cheerleaders, yai company leaders and regional mobilizers for politicians, thereby promoting the programs of male politicians. Mr. Esa Ambaifal says he's ready to bridge this gender gap and bring much needed change for women and girls in the Gambia. Why? In fact, society is in manifesto. Then I'm a special section on women empowerment. We have a lot for women. If you take a look at our manifesto, we have a special section on women empowerment. Also a youth orientation program. So all these things are for youths and women because if you look at women historically, we have certain traditional practices and certain historical inequalities that cause women in our society to lag behind a bit. We are ready to bring a balance, bring equality pretty much in the workplace and ensure women are fully empowered. We state the problem that we recognize and enhance women's socio-economic and political participation and contribution and investing in women's empowerment sets a direct path towards gender equality, poverty eradication and inclusive economic growth. And political participation and contribution in national development. In terms of decision making, the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Welfare indicated that women held only 28% of executive positions globally in 2019, almost the same proportion as in 1995. Adding, while women's representation in parliament has more than doubled globally, it has still not crossed the barrier of 20% of parliamentary seats in 2020. The former TRC lead council says his government will have a cabinet that is 50% male and 50% female. We want to do a lot of things for women, including uh, the promise, Bima Jahe, and Nyun Suyala de Huey Nguyen, that you have a cabinet that is 50% men, 50% women. We want to do a lot of things for women, including the promise I made God willing. We will have a cabinet that is 50% men and 50% women. So that is all part of empowering women. We have also looked very significantly into women's health because the well-being of women is crucial. The phenomenal number of deaths during childbirth is many in the country. Women and youth are the cream of society and can spur economic growth and reduce poverty in the least developed country if given the access to education, employment and health. According to the 2021 voter registration of the Independent Electoral Commission, out of 900,000 registered voters, women constitute more than 50%. Thus, any party that wants to win the race to the State House must put the interests of women first. Lena E. Gwenyiba, iAfrica News.